everyone. It is Friday and you know where you find me back here again speaking to members of the college community because it has been yet another gloriously full week here at Montgomery College. Uh, we had a packed board of trustees meeting on Monday night where we accomplished a great deal. Uh, one of the most exciting decisions from that meeting was the board's enthusiastic endorsement of a college educational center in the East County. Now, you may have heard about the discussions that have taken place about this issue over the past year. The county executive funded a feasibility study related to the possibility of a fourth campus, which was completed. But the pandemic has accelerated, we believe, the need for workforce development and education in many spaces. And the region of the East County is one of the most potential areas that we can have for activity. So the board voted on a resolution to approve a college presence there. Now, I'm very excited about this opportunity and look forward to the next steps, which will be locating a site, planning programs and services, and developing a budget to support this work. Now, speaking of new ventures, the Montgomery College Innovation Grants were evaluated this week by members of the executive team and will be announced at the closing meeting in about three weeks. I have to tell you all, I was so impressed with the breadth and depth of the applications and the true spirit of service in which they embodied. Uh, the pandemic has clearly impacted our perspective on student success, and I really believe that these grants were a window into the new level to which our faculty and staff and students have taken that knowledge. I'm excited to see these projects roll out. Now, one final topic is about racial justice. Now, I know that many of us have been following the trial related to the killing of George Floyd. As I said in my weekly message, I was satisfied with the accountability that the conviction brought but saddened for the families and the friends of the victims and the countless numbers of lives that we seemingly lose each and every year as it relates to this type of violence. I think we all realize that true justice in cases like this uh, is, is indeed elusive, but this case left me with a few promising thoughts. One, advocating for racial justice can make a difference. The folks who recorded the videos and confronted police peacefully turned into witnesses because they bore witness to what was happening and they did this in fact in the court of law for the prosecution, for the life of a man who could not speak for himself. And secondly, the problems of implicit bias and unequal justice are being impressed upon many of us as we think about and watch what's happening in front of us. Police departments among other institutions have to look at these issues case by case. We know that the U.S. Attorney General's announcement yesterday of an investigation of the Minneapolis Police Department is a sign that this is being taken seriously at the federal level. And I'm grateful for the action of the Department of Justice. Third and finally, awareness and education, they matter. I'm also so proud of the dozens of activities and dialogues around racial justice that our own college has hosted this past year. Becoming an anti-racist institution is a goal that requires some depth of learning, communication, and self-awareness. These qualities are already embedded in our classrooms and interactions and position us well as we reach this goal for our community. I wanna thank all of you all for the work you do each and every day. I know things are challenging right now, particularly as we get ready for the end of the semester and doing an environment where we have a series of emotional topics and reflections that are taking place uh, in the world in which we live in. I know that we'll be addressing some of these in later conversations as we move into the next chapter of our push toward anti-racism. I'm grateful for each of you and that we're on this journey together. With that in mind, I hope that each of you has indeed a peaceful weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep your mouths covered, and make sure you keep your hands washed. Thank you and take care.